Greetings from the past, my fellow time travelers, and welcome back to another episode of Finding Paradise. And we're going to enter the room. Hello. You've gotta be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about? What? Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. Mafia! There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir! But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam. To request my hospitality to make use of my facility without an offer. Do you disrespect me and my family airport? Psst. Tell him you've got strong arms and can help out around the airport. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are! Y yeah, I am. Hmm, interesting proposal. It's true, there have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. Your offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto, another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. <laughs> Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. Quick, thank him and step back. Thank you for your kindness, sir. See? You did it! Wait a minute! All that's happened is just that I applied for a job! Shh! You're practically the underboss now! <laughs> what the heck? So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories. Is this like racist to Italians? I can tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching the movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. Received first job. So, there we are. Practically the underboss. <laughs> anything here? Any mementos? This is a kitty! I think the cat broke. But it's way too cute. So nothing in here, then moving on. Hmm, that ring on the table looks shiny. Stay in the room. Can we- oh yeah, because, okay. An amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. Okay, memento detected. Then let's go. And final one. Woo! So, prepare. Prepare and let's go. Dude. <laughs> and the last one. Yay! Easy. Looks delicious. <laughs> so, activate and back into the future. Hmm. Oh wow. Ah, oh, that's pretty! <laughs> Finally, some tropical air. <laughs> there you go, sir. Your amaretto sour, hold the amaretto. Thanks, just the way I like it. And for you, lady, your amaretto sour, hold the sour. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to handle all the lemon juice? That's an old favorite. We're actually here. 
You've wanted to visit for a long time now, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half of the savings on a delayed honeymoon and all. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. It might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay is not gonna be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're gonna be. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. Huh, <laughs> we'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reasons to enjoy the rest of it. Here is to the rest of it. Yeah, here's... Beep! No. Beep, 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 beep! <laughs> Smooth fella. <laughs> Sloppy start. Alright. So, a sloppy start to the long-awaited honeymoon. Wow. Good job, Colin. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no. What's this? A small, uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. Redundant, whatever. Oh, look! That's amazing! Oh, come on, Colin. The water's not that cold. No, she's so pretty. So, oh, I love it. Everything is so amazing. What the? Yeah, you're still awake. <laughs> she needs all the space. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. <laughs> no. That's so cute. Oh, a faded painting of Bora Bora. So pretty. Oh, there are fish in the middle! That's amazing! A blank of piece paper. A piece of blank paper, what? Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. That's also amazing. And hibiscus. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. And we did it. Well, then back to the memento. Yay, backtracking. At least it's a beach. And here we are. One, two, three, four, five. Foot. And prepare. <laughs> so. And there we go. Woo! So what memory do you have with this kind of thing? We'll see. <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, your shift's just about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky. I like it. Did you get yours done? <laughs> Good one. No. 
That's dangerous. She should really get down from there. Yeah, she should really go down there, but that's her. We never know another one. Hello. Psst. The new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're a plane short because someone snagged a blow tire. A blown tire. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know. Shh. No. Who are you? So. Getting down. And there's this guy again. <laughs> And that's how equilibrium is achieved through the four forces of flight. Any questions? Um, why does the plane have a cat's head? I don't know. It was on there when I got here, so I just rode over it. <laughs> now, oh, the memento. Oh no. There's some cla- yeah, sure. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic heading it's facing. E.g. runway 9 means it is 90 degrees on a magnetic compass so it's facing east. This is also why the number on opposite ends of each runway are always 18, 180 degrees apart. Oh, you're stalling. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding critical angle of attack and airflow separating from the airfoil, etc. etc. In conclusion, planes are kinda like the bus in the movie, which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer be able to climb, but can still land in a pile controlled glide. Reminder to self engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine <laughs> Okay, that's just repeating, alright. Close notes. And hey yo. Ah! Every single time. Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside end. Whoa. That is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years and I could never figure the thing out. You must have, like, some kind of magical vending power. Um, I only know cause I have to clean it, so... No. I bet this is his instructor. That would make so many sense. Oh, hello. Okay, here's the $24 and change. Whoa, that's uh, a lot of pennies. It's okay, I have all day. <laughs> wow. Hurry up and count the pennies, kid. You're holding up the line. Jesus. But I can get past there. Why? Hey there. <laughs> and she's sleeping again. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Mm, and what about you? Well, just between you and me. Flood instruction isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. Ooh. Whoa! Like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails. Yep. I was darn good at it. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all cause they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just cause I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Ah, It drives me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get me my soda, then you vote to give my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to flat instruct the heck out of ya! That went well. It did, indeed. 
Oh wow. Hmm, we might be in a bit of a route. There's still a memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Uh, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow. Hopefully. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay. She sure makes herself at home. Oh, what was that? Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of breeze. That was creepy. But let's follow the shadow. Huh? This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. <laughs> well, that's a good thought, what? Um. What? A <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what the hell? What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what? We needed a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In a most unsettling way, no less. I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump! Oh hey, oh no! I can't even look down! It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. <laughs> Quit pushing me off edges! What? I didn't push you. The beep you didn't! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you hanging on, alright? WHAT IS EVEN GOING ON?! WHY IS THIS HAPPENING?! Wait, turn your ham down. I think I see them inside. <laughs> what is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have to run away inside? I... I think so. Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um... Mixture full rich, uh, primer in and locked? Zero Yankee Romeo cleared to land runway 21. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high, get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose! Alright, I have control. Oh, thank god. No. Hold on! Looks like we're gonna land. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Those two are amazing. So. <laughs> are you okay? What? You don't look like. Hey, you all good? No, Eva, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> you get the beep up. <laughs> all right. Oh, I love them so much. Is it normal to feel kinda dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Oh. Ah, oh, you remind me of back when I was young, lad. As in back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic skyriding flights I've done, I tell ya. One day I'm gonna get back to that. No. So sweet. So. Um. 
I need a memento. Oh, of course. What else? Oh, I didn't read that. Whoops. Another headshot, Diva. No scope. Really? Booyah! Give him the concussions. Give him the concussions. I'm so stupid. You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. Jeez. Oh, it's amazing. Yay! So. We did it again. But guys, before we are going back into the future, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, click on the notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload my videos. Share this on Twitter and on Facebook. And guys, I will see you in the future or back when we are finding our paradise. Bye bye. Slowly things are getting interesting.